Okay, next up we're going to uh, do some stuff regarding the team section of the site. So this is where you show staff and the board members. Um, it's not where you expect to find it. This is probably the most misleading um, module within the system. In order to get to the staff profiles and listing the staff, go to Users and Groups, and then Front End User Management. And click on that. Okay, so this automatically takes us to the Users tab of Front End User Management. If we scroll down the page, we're going to see a listing of everybody that we've entered. There are some tricks. Um, yeah, that's the best way to put it. Um, in order to get things listed alphabetically. For the usernames, it's not something that we ever display on the front end of the site. So a username, uh, everybody's username is their first name, and, or first initial and their last name. Um, at least that's the intent. Uh, or sorry. Yes, first initial, last name. And then we put a letter in front of it based on where we want them to show up. If we want that person to show up first, then we do an A dash. If we want them to show up second, then it's a B dash, and so on and so forth. Um, have to do that uh, if we do with numbers. Uh, one, one will come right after one. So it wouldn't be one and then two, it would be one, 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 two, one, four, and then it would be two, two, one, and so on and so forth. So, um, so that's just one of the, thing, the quirky things with this. Um, so for any of the existing ones, if you wanted to edit, if you wanted to edit Catherine's, we can click on it, it pulls up and it shows us this is who she's been assigned to in terms of the group that she's a part of, which is the 2009 staff. Um, you also see that there's government liaisons and 2008-09 board of directors. The checkboxes are over here on the far right in terms of assigning uh, a given user to a user group. Uh, we're not changing anything here, but if we click on the next tab, it's going to bring up more information for us. And this is where it gets a little more interesting. We've got her full name, her position, um, credits. So if, um, if we wanted to give her accreditations from uh, bachelor's degree, stuff like that. We can just do it in a uh, comma-separated form here. Um, if she had a photo, click in that box and you can select it and upload it. Um, and bio, we can type in in that field as well. I believe there is a bit of a quirk uh, with this one um, too in terms of the bios and getting the, uh, the WYSIWYG editor into here. Um, but with a couple of upgrades on the system, I think there might be a new one uh, for that particular module. And I know there is a new one for the actual system. Uh, once we get those in place, that should take care of it. So it would be a matter of typing those things in, hitting submit, and it's fine. If you hit cancel, it won't delete anything. It's just anything that you've typed and have not saved will be lost. So I'll hit cancel. And then we can come back and look at this list, see if I can remember somebody who maybe has a true profile. So again, same thing, we're just going to jump through. This is a board of directors. So here's an idea of how the credits are being used. Um, then we can see in the bio, it's actually using HTML, um, so my apologies for that, but um, I have to figure out whether the system um, needs an update in order to pull in the proper uh, editing toolbar. Okay, so as it stands with the ones that are in there, they'd be pretty easy to, um, to go in and just do an edit. It shouldn't be a big issue. Uh, just don't do anything with the HTML tags. Um, so maybe we'll leave this one for Keith. And I believe that should do it for this one. If we did have to add somebody new, it would be a simple matter of scrolling down, doing the add user, and assigning them and entering in the appropriate information, and that would do it. 
This module could also be used in the future to be synchronized with a password protected area of the site where maybe you only want staff or board members to be able to access.